Hello everyone, I'm Jakob, I'm a Senior Technical Account Manager here at Amazon Web Services. And in this video I will walk you through the installation of Cost Optimization Data Collection Lab, which is a part of Well Architected Labs project. When operating a big AWS organization with many accounts deployed across multiple regions, you need a place where you have a transversal view on your cost savings indicators and recommendations. AWS provides insights from AWS Trusted Advisor and right sizing recommendation from AWS Compute Optimizer. Today, we will install the lab for data collection and in the next video, we will install and review QuickSight dashboards for visualizing this data. Let's open Well Architected Labs website and in cost section we'll, we can find level 300 optimization data collection lab. This data lab has many modules. Here we will focus on trusted advisor and compute optimizer module. In your organization you have many linked accounts and one management account, also called pair. Even though you can install everything in your management account, we do not recommend that. We recommend having a dedicated optimization data collection account in order to install the main resources of this lab. We will also need a role in management account and another role in each linked account that we will install in this tech set in the first step of this lab. This is my management account and I have a management account itself and a data collection account. Let's start with deploying CloudFormation template. This first CloudFormation template will just install the role that we need in the management account. Next, next, creating stack. I will speed up a little bit. And here we go, it's all created. Now we will start with the role that we need to deploy in all mm, linked account. For that we will create a, a stack set. We'll take stack set name and the account, uh, the data collection account. Now we will set up all the permissions that we need in this case, we only need Trusted Advisor data collection. Choosing the region, and we will deploy in all our organization. This will take some time to deploy. Please note that we exclude here the management account. So if you need to deploy it also in management account, you need to deploy a deep, dedicated stuck for that so okay it's all deployed now we can go to the next step which is the data collection so here we also need to create a stack i copy the link from the documentation this go directly to the stack creation so i take the name and paste it in the file formation Next, we can choose deployment parameters. First will be the prefix for the bucket, next the role for the management account access, and then the management account ID. Now we can choose available modules. In this demo, we will only use Trusted Advisor and Compute Optimizer, so we'll put all the node to others. And here we need to provide a comma separated list of regions where we want compute optimizer data to be uh, collected. So no, no, no. Next. That's fine. Acknowledge. So now we will just need to wait a little bit for stack to be provisioned. You could say at some point 
the main stock stored to provision nested stock and there is also a stock set that is needed to create and several S3 buckets for compute optimizer data collection. So let's wait a little bit for it to be provisioned fully. That's fine. So now we can back to this main stack and just wait it to be completed. Okay, that's fine. Let's see the resources and now we can go to the next step. The next step will be testing your deployment and here we have some specific information about uh, all the configuration of modules and we have we see that for testing we just need to trigger a lambda. Testing trusted advisor module we need to trigger account collection lambda first. So let's just trigger it with any parameters, check if there are no errors here and that should be fine. So now we can go to S3 bucket and check if the results we, we if, if we have results. Yes we do have already the results. There is a JSON file that corresponds to this date where we have all the data. So let's go to the compute optimizer model. Compute optimizer model is a little bit more complex and we have a bunch of buckets where compute optimizer export the data per region and then we have a replication to the main bucket. Let's see the lambda that we need to trigger for compute optimizer data. Let's find it. Well, and let's trigger it just like that. Next and test. So we see no errors here. We have scheduled a bunch of different exports. To check the status of these exports, we can go to the management account and compute optimizer and we'll go to the exports and now we can see all the exports that were scheduled right now. So we will just need to wait a little bit for them to be completed. Once they are completed and replicated, they will be uh, they will appear in the main bucket. So let's go to the S3 bucket. There will be several region bucket, and some, at some point the export will be terminated. Okay, here here we have it, and we will have some folders for compute optimizer data and schema. So we have everything right now. That's great. Now we can explore the data in Athena. If we choose optimization da data database, we can see all this data and we can select and we will explore them. Also, please check saved queries. They are probably useful for you to explore this data. So this pretty much it. We will uh, in the next video we will see how we can visualize this data with QuickSight with two dashboards. So this is the dashboard for compute optimizer data and the dashboard for trusted advisor. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. If you need to clean up this, this lab please just delete the CloudFormation stack that we just created. Thank you, see you next time.